Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Boardman. If you are coming through and watching this at any point, let me know by either just dropping a like, dropping a comment if you like, let me know if what you're listening to you can relate to, uh, and share if you want. What's going on? Halfway through the week already, right? So I want you to visualize, um, if you like, what life, what a life that you're living that would bring you happiness and fulfillment would look like where you live life on your terms not anyone else's terms but on your terms okay so that meant you had complete control of basically your time and energy now living life on your terms for every single person watching this will mean a different thing for me, living life on my terms is being completely and utterly, utterly in control of my time and my energy, okay? Which is a powerful thing, right? It's a really powerful thing. I'm not held to accountable by anyone, as, as in what I mean by that. I don't have to be somewhere for a particular time to provide a service or product i.e. going to a nine to five job, um, i.e. Uh, working to a, a rotor or a shift pattern. Um, I don't have obligations. I just kind of live life on my terms. And I haven't just got to that point. When I, when I left the Marines in 2011, which fucking hell, it's almost nine years ago. Um, I always wanted to be able to, one of the things that I said, I always wanted to be able to live life on my terms. And it's only taken nine years to get, <laughs> to get here. But there have been a number of sacrifices that have had to be made, i.e. When, when I worked at the college, I had to work to the college's rules and, and the way that they wanted me to live my life. I had to structure my life around that organisation. When I started my local boot camp, I had obligations and places to be in terms of delivery to a service. When I went online, it allowed me to have more control of my time and my energy. Now, why would you want that? Well, I kind of feel that we do only live once. That I feel that in some sort of way, it's really kind of rewarding to know that you are in charge of your outcomes, of your time, of your energy and it's not for everybody don't get me wrong it's not for everybody but I still think that this is achievable even if you don't work for yourself and I think that comes in time in terms of being able to disconnect from the workspace now the workspace tends to be the thing that creates the most stress and overwhelm and distraction from the things that you want to do but I still think you can live life on your terms and that is the way that you work, the way you conduct yourself, the, the outcomes that you control. You can still live a, 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 a really um, uh, fulfilling life, even around a, like a nine to five job or a shift job or whatever it is that you do. But I think that you have to find the control elements of your time and your energy and your outcomes. So it's achieving things still. So like, I always had this vision of me just having no obligations here in the morning on a morning routine. That means I don't have to be somewhere, I don't owe anyone anything. I voluntarily do this show for free to offer advice and guidance. I love it, it's part of my morning routine. But I had that vision about a year and a half ago, a year and a half later, I've, if you liked, moved pieces of the chessboard around to be allow myself to have this time in the morning. It was always important to me, boom, I was in. Do you know what I mean? I think it gives you a sense of satisfaction of having control back of your life, and I think that sometimes when we don't have control of our lives, 
that's what creates a lot of frustration. We kind of feel we're part of this bigger wheel, this hamster wheel where we have to jump on this hamster wheel and we have to run for everybody else rather than ourselves. And when we're running for everyone else, we don't really feel like we have control or we're getting anywhere. Whereas if we're running with purpose and we're living life on our terms, everything that we do has more meaning, has more desire, has more passion, has more connection. So you're more willing to do it. You're more actively finding passion in life. I hope that makes sense. So how can you go about that from here? Well, I, I think you can live life on your terms by creating rules. And rules are things that you implement to mean that you follow the particular path that you want to. So just a couple of examples on rules, like one of my number one rules is never press snooze, okay? And number two rule is always do my morning routine Monday to Friday. Another rule is always finish by 5.30 every single day. Fourth rule is always say I love you before I leave the house. So what I'm doing is by implementing rules, I'm empowering myself to live life on my terms. And by following those rules, they would drive me forwards to another level. They would create happiness, they would create achievement and outcomes and routines and all of the self-fulfilling things that we need within our own life to feel like we're progressing. Because if we're not progress progressing, progressing, we're dying. So living life on your terms could mean a whole host of things. And I wondered what you could do today in terms of creating rules for yourself or taking back a little bit of control of your own time and energy and where you could do that to find the life that you want to lead to improve your health and well-being to improve your performance in your business or get your work-life balance in the right place and I think the key let's make sure we've got enough time here is to make sure you don't try to do this all at once find one part of your life that you would love to have more control of where you live life by your terms and I usually recommend the morning for a lot of people which is why we talk about the morning routine that's why I enforce it so much in my 28 day programs in my masterminds because you can really dominate your day Danny good to see you on here um, you can really enforce what you're trying to achieve with those pockets of time with the pockets of the day where you're living life on your terms. It really empowers you to grow. As a man and a woman, if you're watching, I'm getting beasted by the women at the minute by not saying the women on the Man Coach page. But it's really empowering for you when you really dominate that time and you live life on your terms and you have that little bit of control and time to yourself. Okay? So don't think I'm going to change my life completely, I'm going to quit my job, I'm going to do nothing. Or, like, you know, let's put it into perspective. It's about controlling the time and the energy that you have and controlling the outcomes, controlling the achievements, but at small pockets, okay? in, manageable, in manageable chunks. All right, I hope that helps. It's just a little bit of a brain dump or brain thought that I had about myself all those years ago. I really hope it could set the path and journey for you to do something similar. All right. Um, I love you and I'll see you later.